5,000 years into the future. The Death Nuclear Holocaust A religious order sends Père Hero Destin on a secret mission. A mission to discover technology from the past. His companion and mount, Klotz, a morse, a mutant moose slash horse. A companion and guide, a young black bear named Gorm. Hero is telepathically linked to Klotz and Gorm. Together, they travel from Canada into eastern United States, facing mutant monsters and the unclean wizards set against the priesthood and its followers. Hero's Journey by Sterling E. Lanier, 1973 Who is Sterling E. Lanier? Let's take a look and find out. Sterling Edmund Lanier was a U.S. editor and writer. He did six years graduate work at the School of Anthropology and Archaeology at the University of Pennsylvania before working as an editor mainly for Chilton Books for periods during 1961-67. to 67. He persuaded the firm to publish Frank Herbert's Dune in 1965. He subsequently turned freelance, working as a sculptor and jeweler and as a writer. Chilton Books, the same company that he was editor for in the 60s, published his novel Hero's Journey in 1973. One of the things I found fascinating about this novel is that it starts out in my area of the world, Western Canada. Hero is a Métis warrior priest. He and his companions grow close as they journey through and battle together across this post-apocalyptic North America. This is the beginning of an epic. Hero is riding his mutant horse-slash-moose named Klotz. He has a telepathic link to Klotz. Klotz has a very basic intelligence, but he is able to detect many things in the forests. In Hero's journey, they meet and make allies along the way. The first is Gorm, a young black bear with telepathic abilities. His intelligence is to a scale that is unknown. They travel together through forests and marshes and work their way towards the Northeast United States. Here, there is technology that Hero has been sent to retrieve. Technology that has survived 5,000 years. There are mutant antagonists along the way, often controlled by wizards of the unclean. They combine both telepathy and technology but our priest is able to conquer one of these dark wizards and discovers that his telepathic abilities have developed significantly. He rescues a young woman who is about to be sacrificed. She joins them on their mission. They also meet up with an ancient one, a freelance wizard of sorts. This fellowship battles forward, seeking to find that fabled technology the computer. This novel reads like a cross between a canticle for Leibowitz and The Lord of the Rings. SF Masterworks has just published this book and will publish in a few months the follow-up, The Unforsaken Hero. If you're wondering if some of this sounds familiar, Gary Gygax of Dungeon and Dragons fame credits Hero's Journey as one of the major influences for the game. This is an entertaining and compelling read. Tales of good and evil, friendship and love, danger and battles. All for the sake of seeking a technology absent for 5,000 years. This technology may be the difference in defeating the Brotherhood of the Unclean. Lanier is great at creating his characters. I came to love Gorm the Bear and Klotz the Morse. There were unexpected revelations and plenty of daring do. I give this wonderful adventure 8 out of 10. Lots of fun. Have you read Hero's Journey? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. 
Until next time, keep reading.